Well, hard to believe, but just until two years ago, it was illegal for Washington State University to operate its own medical school. But today, well, it was day one at the Elson Floyd College of Medicine, and both students and staff are pretty excited. The school has been in the works for several years now, as WSU has prepared its curriculum, which focuses on the essentials, but also on connecting these students with the communities the school hopes they'll eventually serve. KXY 4's Caroline Rourke joins us now from campus. And Caroline, a big day for WSU. Oh, yeah, Nadine, this is something that they have been working on and waiting for for some time now, even asking the state legislature to approve where necessary. And in part, it helped that the existing health and science capabilities at WSU Spokane Camp Campus really helped to kind of encourage the legislature to do that. I'm told there will, of course, one day be a physical Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine. But for right now, WSU has taken step one to improving access to health care in the state of Washington. At the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine, today was full of first day of school excitement in more ways than one. It's a really exciting and inspiring day. Washington State University's newest endeavor is the result of several years of work and patience, even some political maneuvering. It's really a culmination of almost two years worth of effort uh, from not only the community, but the faculty staff here at the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine to bring this inaugural class here. They'll cover the basics, but Wazoo School is unlike others. The end goal for its graduates is specific. We're going to be doing what every other medical school is doing, but in addition to that, our students are going to be trained in how to take care of people in more rural communities and underserved communities. Communities like the ones you see on this map from the Washington State Department of Health. The spots highlighted in purple and orange represent medically underserved areas and populations. It's when you look at the populations, they're spread out across a, a large area, and so it's hard to really focus health care services to that population. But it's precisely those underserved areas that Wazoo hopes these doctors and training will go to work as a team to improve access to health care. It's not about competing against each other anymore. It's about working together as a team. That's how they're going to take care of patients. It's about the team and working towards the benefit of the patient. Now, a part of the encouragement to keep these students here serving in these local underserved communities after they finish med school is that every applicant has some kind of connection to Washington State. Maybe they grew up here, they live here now, they've got family here or graduated from a Washington State high school. Some sort of tie that will encourage them to stay and serve these communities that they know. Reporting live from Washington State University in Spokane, Caroline Rourke, KXY4 News. That's a great mission. Thanks a lot, uh, Caroline.